name's Zach, but everyone just calls me Ranger Zach. This is my wife, Corey. She runs the camera. We have a daughter. Make that two daughters. And this is my dog, Dose. I also play a pretty mean guitar. For the last 10 years, I've been a real life park ranger, protecting wildlife, fighting forest fires, rescuing lost hikers, and doing all sorts of cool stuff along the way. Now I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know to be a real life park ranger too. Ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show. One of my favorite things to do is sit under a nice shady tree. And there's no better tree to sit under than an oak tree. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. The Mighty Oak! There are over 500 different kinds of oak trees found throughout the world. So chances are there's an oak tree growing by your house. But an oak tree will face a lot of challenges throughout its life. Only the strongest and luckiest will survive. And it all starts with one of these. This is an acorn. But we aren't the only ones looking for acorns today. Acorns are an excellent source of food for deer, birds, and of course, squirrels. Hey there, little guy. Many acorns are gobbled up before they ever have a chance to grow. But a lucky few acorns won't be eaten and they'll fall onto good soil. Stick around, I'm gonna tell you what happens next. Oh wow, how cool is this? You have to check this out. Sort of just looks like a plain old rock, huh? But can you make an educated guess on what this rock was used for? An educated guess is called a hypothesis. I'll give you a second to think about it. Well, Junior Rangers, have you made your hypothesis? I'll give you the whole story. Acorns can be a great source of food for people as well. For thousands of years, American Indians collected acorns and ground them into a flour using stones like this. Ooh, sort of makes me hungry. I'm gonna go get some trail mix. Now if an acorn is lucky enough not to be gobbled up, it may fall into good soil and grow into one of these. This is a seedling, and it's sort of like a baby oak. Kind of like this is a baby park ranger. <laughs> but seedlings have very tender leaves, which make them the perfect treat for hungry deer har, har, and hungry rabbits, har, har, which means they're less likely to grow up and survive. As seedlings grow up, they become taller and stronger until eventually they become saplings, sort of like a little kid tree. But saplings aren't out of the woods yet. They still need to receive enough water, sunlight, nutrients, and survive harsh climates until they can grow into a full adult oak tree. And that can take hundreds of years. Some oak trees have even been known to live to be 1,000 years old. Can you believe it? Let's all count to 1,000 together. Just kidding.
season after season, year after year, saplings will grow and grow, and only the strongest will live long enough to become a full, mature oak tree. Every year that an oak tree is alive, instead of adding a new birthday candle to its birthday cake, it'll grow a new tree ring. And you can count the rings of a tree to see just how old the tree is. You can even tell if it was a really wet year if the tree ring is thick, or a particularly dry year if the tree ring is nice and thick. How cool is that? Let's look at these tree rings together. Like all trees, fire is a serious threat to oak trees, but they've come up with a very clever way to protect themselves. They're wearing a suit like Iron Man. What do you mean it doesn't look like Iron Man to you? It's this right here. It's the bark. This bark is so strong and thick that it protects the wood from being burned by forest fire. It also protects the oak trees from diseases and insects that may want to do it harm. Cool, pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's recap what we learned today. We learned that every oak tree starts as an acorn. If that acorn is lucky enough not to be gobbled up by a hungry critter, it may grow into a seedling. From there, seedlings grow into saplings, and finally saplings grow into full adult oak trees. Over the course of its lifetime, a single oak tree may grow 10 million acorns, but only the lucky one out of every 10,000 will grow into a full tree. That makes every oak tree so special and it's one reason why oak trees are my favorite tree. Maybe after learning about them, they're your favorite tree too. Tell you what, let's collect some acorns and I'm going to show you a real cool trick to do with them back at the ranger station. Welcome back to the ranger station. I hope you brought your acorns because we're going to need them. We are going to make acorn whistles. Each acorn has two parts, the nut and the cup. For this trick, all we need is the cup. Well, and your hands, of course, so go like this. Draw! Put the cup of the acorn in between your pointer finger and curl it over. Next, take your thumb and place it over the top of the acorn cup. Take your other thumb and place it next to that one. You're trying to make a V with your two thumbs over the top of the acorn cup. Now all you have to do is put your lips over your knuckles and blow. Da 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 da. We just made an acorn whistle. Now to help us practice, here's Pearl Squirrel. Hey Pearl, don't go eating those acorns. We're making acorn whistles today. Here. Put the acorn cup in your hands and give it a blow. Oh, Pearl, don't be sad. It's tricky at first. Just remember, if you fail at first, just keep trying, because that's the ranger way. Boom, boom. Tell you what, you keep practicing, and we're going to do the ranger roundup. Bye. This week's Junior Ranger question comes from Hudson from Southern California. I think he wants to know about mountain lions. Hi, Ranger Zach. My mom says I need to be inside the house before sunset because we've been seeing a lot of mountain lions. Is that true? Very interesting question, Hudson. Your mom sounds an awful lot like my mom, which means she loves you a whole lot, but also tends to worry a bit. Depending on where you live, different types of wildlife will come out at night. Sounds like you live in an area with mountain lions. Mountain lions are crepuscular, and that means they're most active at sunrise and sunset. If there have been recent mountain lion sightings in your area, it's probably best to go inside when it starts getting dark. And I always recommend that you go hiking or play outside with a buddy 
just to be safe. But mountain lion attacks are extremely rare. So I hope that answers your question and puts your mom's mind at ease. Well, Rangers, we're almost done for the week, but we still have time for the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to sit quietly under a tree for five minutes. Make sure to tell me what your hawk eyes see, what your deer ears hear, and what your bear nose smells. <laughs> Tag me in a picture of you making your observations at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as our Junior Ranger of the Week. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And just remember, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach, over and out. I'm a nut.